YouTube and welcome back. This is solo ride number five uh, since I completed my CBT probably about eight weeks ago now. Um, so yeah, this is ride number five. I'm guessing after this ride, I'm not a total greenhorn, so uh, no longer a proper beginner. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna go out for a decent ride today. I don't have to go anywhere. I'm not going to the post office. I am simply going for a nice ride along the coast to a place called Ventnor on the very south uh, tip of the Isle of Wight. Um, which is a beautiful old uh, Victorian town. So I'm just going to go and take you along with me and get a bit of uh, motorcycle practice in. Let's go. <laughs> Worth pointing out, it is absolutely Baltic today. It's about three or four degrees out. Uh, it was icy overnight so i'm being very careful not to uh sort of go on any uh dodgy bits that could be black ice i'm guessing they're all gone by now but you can't be too careful can you so uh yeah let's enjoy the ride and uh it's good to have you along get up this hill third gear that's how we did it last time that's how we'll do it again today so let's get up here watching out for these wet manhole covers of course i'll be going on the twisty road which i went on my second ride uh, which takes you towards Sandown. Uh, we have had more rain again this week so one of the roads might be closed due to flooding again uh, so we'll have to just figure out a diversion but for now we are heading through into Bembridge. I'm being very wary today of uh, the uh, extremely low sun we've got going on today. So I've got my high-vis ja jacket and vest on. And uh, yeah, being very careful just to make sure people have seen me when I want them to. Okay, we're going to be taking a left here. So let's do our checks. Good. Indicate. Second gear around there. There is a horrible wet manhole cover right there, but we're good. We haven't safely negotiated that. So let's kill that indicator and select third gear. Yeah. Right, this dumper truck uh, will go as and where it needs to. It doesn't care about the rules of the road. <laughs> so uh, definitely have my wits about me. What's going on there? Literally stopped on the other side of the road. Most of the leaves have come off of these trees now, so uh, this piece of road here isn't quite so lethal. In fact, a lot of the leaves are just starting to rot away now, which is good. I would like to point out, being ride five on this bike, the uh, fuel needle has literally hardly moved. Oh good, this guy's going off, so I'm gonna have a bit of third gear action for this. Uh, for this turn here thank you for waiting for me still a bit wary around these corners at 90 degrees anyway we're safely across that so let's gun it no indicators that's good hope you've all had some nice bike uh, rides out since i've uh, last managed it was a couple of weeks ago today i think when i went to the uh, motorcycle shop uh, so again still pretty rusty <laughs> one of those things Okay, right, let's get on to this uh, faster, twistier stuff. Let's drop down into second gear, I think, for this roundabout because people come flying across here. He's going straight on. Thanks. He actually indicated with his finger to let me know he was going straight on. So thanks, mate. 
I do appreciate that kind of thing. Right, 40. Let's go. No one behind me. Try and stay on this dry bit of road as best I can. I am layered up again today. Uh, it is colder than my last ride, so I have got a extra fleece on my top half but my trousers is still just a pair of different jeans today and uh, some thermal leggings well it's a thermal one-piece bodysuit actually but it was remarkably uh, effective last time and uh, as long as oh dear as long as i can still feel my toes all good well i could probably have gone a little bit quicker there but there's no one behind me and it's a dodgy road so fourth gear here still taking these corners nice and wary can't wait for the summer some uh, dry weather which uh, also just uh, it has been really bad weather again since I was last on the bike uh, as you can well imagine and I guess others in the UK have been going through the same thing this is Benbridge Airport in front of me nice little place I actually fly model aircraft in there got my little radio controlled aeroplanes great fun that low sun is causing some glare on the road so I hope it's not affecting the GoPro too much I've got a nice quite dry strip in the middle here so I'm going to get a bit of speed on now we're not uh, going through the twisties so much yeah let's go what a lovely day Do have a six gear. <laughs> have to say, I feel a lot more uh, confident now than I did the last time I came down here. Uh, like I said, that was on ride number two, and uh, yeah, very, very green at that stage, but. Uh, Oh um, yeah, really starting to enjoy these bike rides. Really tight corner coming up here, so let's do a bit of downshift in there, a bit more. Not better ones, but uh, right, let's get around this bend. Really tightens up that bend, but now we're clear, we can gun it. Not like that. <laughs> Did I slow down too much for that Ben? Let me know. Uh, always, uh, always keen to get constructive criticism. And I really appreciate all the tips that everyone's given me in the last few videos. It's fantastic. See that, that car, if I was flying around there on a motorbike, they've got no way of seeing you. So you literally just have to, if there's not a car, you just have to go. It is not a nice junction pulling out of there. Which interestingly, that road takes you up to Culver Down, uh, which towers over Sandown and Benbridge. It's nice up there. Right, I'm going straight on today. Let's have an easier gear because it's not much fun here. If it's clear, I'd like to get a move on. Which it is. Uh, uh, loads of time. Side 
cyclist up ahead. So I'll check there's no one behind. And when it is clear, I shall bomb it. Second gear, let's get past this guy quick. There you go. Jobs are good then. Could be a queue of cars here, so I'm going around this bend with caution. Got one car. Right, another car. Number of cars. <laughs> okay, I've got a car behind me and a cyclist. Come off it. Welcome to the Isle of Wight. <laughs> Gotta be joking me. Tumbleweed it. Right, I am off. Before anyone goes, comes, quick. <laughs> okay, I'm doing my checks here, because there was a cyclist behind me, but he's not now. Got need to turn left here, nice hill start. No, the road is closed, so I am going right here instead. Road will be closed for uh, the uh, blooming um, flooding. Oh well, that is that, we'll not be going to Ventnor today. Let's go somewhere else. Where can we go? Uh, just a little jolly. Let's go to ride or somewhere like that. Anyway, there was a big house fire up here the other day, which has devastated the whole house, which is not cool for the uh, guy that lived there. That's for sure. Oh traffic lights they've put these barriers here because uh, I think there was a chance that the wall might collapse which is not cool Talk amongst yourselves. Come on. It takes ages to get anywhere on the Isle of Wight. Okay, we are good. We're good. There's a the house. What a mess. Okay, this is a bit bigger than a cyclist, so I'm going to indicate just here. Drop down into second. Okay, going fast. Let's kill that indicator. Second gear, bosh. Right. This cyclist is keeping up with me.
Okay, I'm gonna head over the Downs Road for a little bit and I might be able to still get some of my uh, riding for Vent. I might still be able to get to Vent now, yeah. Come on, let's do it. It's a lovely day. Just have to go the long way, man. Okay, indicate left. All that jazz. Okay, you're going that way. I'm going this way. Let's get out of here. Oh, went on the bumpy bits a bit. Kill the indicator. Nice slippy country lanes here. Ride with caution. A low gear because it goes up here a bit here. And since I've slowed down, this is the road where you get lots of gravel. But sorry that I'm going over the same roads that I did uh, before. I haven't got much choice today. Honestly, that road, I think it's called Morton Common Road in Braiding. Literally, someone has to start crying and it closes due to flooding. Industrial gear change, did the job. This road does flood actually along the end here, so hopefully there's not a big uh, giant puddle at the end to greet me. Soon find out. No, no puddle. Bit of slow down action there for that dodgy corner. All right. to see another motorcyclist I think no one behind me okay I'm turning left at the end here nice bit of indicator action Good, kill the indicator. Change gear. National speed limit. So let's get a bit of speed on. This thing does shift surprisingly well considering it's got my fat ass on it. Nod. 
Nice one, dude. Right, who's gonna pull out on me today? That glare is hideous. And I've got polarized sunglasses on. Gravel on the road, nice. Oh, it slowed me down when I slowed down too much then, so let's have a bit of third gear action and get up this hill. Don't want to slow anyone down unnecessarily. Couple of cars, so it's going a bit slow then, so let's move it. Quite is fresh. Thank you to all my new subscribers in the past week, really appreciate it. The last couple of weeks, nice one, thank you very much. Right, quick gear change in the fourth, get out this hill. You've got lovely views up here when you've got a uh, chance to take it all in. My eye is streaming so bad. Right, let's send it down here. need to turn left here it's a really tight bend so I shall indicate with plenty of uh, time plenty in advance start slowing down and changing down the gears Think the third will be all right all good yeah lovely do not want to uh, slide off there thanks kill the indicator is that the kill yes it is warp speed This camber, this sorry, this corner's like we've got some really weird camber on it, so and it's always wet for some reason. So let's take this one easy. All good. Uh, we're coming into a place called New Church now, in case you're wondering. It's a nice little village. And this little road here has got loads of little pinch points, so if you're very lucky you can get through all of it without having to stop for someone. But uh, let's see how we get on on a motorcycle. I've got a car behind me right up my backside. So I shall worry about my riding and not what's going on behind me too much. Where are you going, mate? Let's get through this bit uh, without having to stop. Okay, nice.
don't know if that was a nod or not man maybe that guy's too cool down here because there's schools and stuff like that oh my hand going a bit numb Struggling a bit in third up there, it is steep this bit. Come on little thing, that's it, nice. God, when it levels out, it didn't have to start picking up. <laughs> right, let's get out of it. That house has most lovely wisteria on it in the uh, early summer, I suppose. Okay, I've got a priority here. Have they seen me? Let's hope so. Oh, that sun's horrible, isn't it? Okay, I've got priority here again. Doesn't appear to be anything coming. Not that I can see much with that glare. Christmas trees there from £15. Oh, been overtaken there. That car's been right on my backside for ages, so good riddance. I have had a lot of people mention in the comments actually that uh, let's have a bit of. Uh, oh, <laughs> mentioning in the comments um, about uh, people overtaking them when they're learners and stuff. Not really necessary, is it? Okay, all good. Kill the indicator. Right, I need to go straight on here, I think. Horrible, horrible junction again here.
Who's going? Go on, you go. They're gonna let me go, yes they are. Thank you. Thank you. Nasty junction there. No matter which way you look, as soon as you look the other way, there's something flying over that top hill. <laughs> so, uh, oh well. Nice lady let me out, which is very kind of her. Okay, the next stop I think will be in a place uh, close to God's Hill, which is a very picturesque village on the Isle of Wight with uh, lots of chocolate box style thatch cottages, that kind of thing, and lots of nice tea rooms. So if you're thinking of visiting, then uh, do pop to God's Hill because it's lovely. My legs are starting to feel a bit chilly now, but I can still feel my toes, so we're all good. Okay, turning right here, so let's do all my checks. Yeah, good. Oh, came up a bit quick. Be good. Let's get out of here. Kill the indicator. Second gear. Okay, right. Let's go. Bit of a quicker road this one. Lovely. I much prefer this stuff than all the uh, stop start stuff. <clears throat> Got a wetness there. And into the 30. Slow down a bit. Change gear, lovely. Got a little mini roundabout coming up. Okay, I'm going straight on here. And it's all clear, so let's go. No indicator, Bosch. Dodge that manhole cover. There's a donkey sanctuary in there. Uh, not really into that kind of thing, but if you like that kind of thing, probably worth a visit. I have been there. It's just not really my kind of thing, animals. Oh yeah, there's a hill coming up here. This is Roxall. Nicely around 30, great stuff.
Right, this hill's massive, so I'm going to get a bit of a run up here without going too quick. My right away, get out of the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Change down into second then, rather than fourth, which was not cool. I might as well stay in third now because there's another hill to get out. Still a bit rusty. Road ahead closed. Oh, okay, that must be down there. Honestly, on the other way, there is more closed roads than there is open roads at any given time. Like I said, it takes ages to get anywhere, which is partly why I wanted a motorcycle. In the summer, Benbridge is absolutely gridlocked with holiday makers and it just takes ages to drive a short distance to the uh, post office. It's really annoying. I don't know what's going on with this geezer. Oh, okay, reversing in the driveway. Getting some hill start practice in today anyway. I'm gonna have to change the uh, GoPro battery in a minute, I think. Go and find somewhere up here. It is a job at the moment to see the traffic light with the amount of sun that's entering my eyes. Not fun. Someone's getting a new road surface, but not while this guy's in the road. What a wally. Okay, thank you all, thank you. Let's give it a max of it now. I'm probably talking less to the camera today. Uh, probably each time I ride actually, because I'm having to think less about what I need to do with regards to changing gear and stuff. So the uh, thought process isn't going through my head, I'm just sort of doing it if that makes sense. Muscle memory, that kind of thing. If I remember correctly down here, there's a savage bend. gear around this one I think it's a bit tighter right and this is the 30 zone so let's not speed
Okay, we're going to come down now into a town called Ventnor. This is a beautiful old Victorian town in its heyday. Fantastic place to uh, visit if you're a Victorian uh, person, I suppose. But it does suffer from hideous subsidence. And as this road probably shows, everything's a bit wonky because uh, much of it is falling gradually into the sea. It's just slipping. It's on a landslip. So uh, lovely place. Lovely, lovely old Victorian buildings, but not very stable. And I was actually an estate agent here for a number of years. Did an apprenticeship in an estate agency in a little uh, place just down in the town. Lovely. I'm very fond of Ventnor. Yeah, much, much of the houses here suffer from subsidence and things like that. But what a landscape. A bit dodgy there. That looked slippery to me. Don't know if you can see the views. What a place. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through all the way around on the loop here. So, I'm probably going to have to double back on myself. But, I do need to find somewhere to park and... Uh, just check the uh, battery on the GoPro. So let's go and find somewhere and do that. tennis courts all right let's pull up over here somewhere that's a bus stop and I spot somewhere to pull over there so that's what I'm doing Okay, new battery in, and I'm going to try and give you a little bit of a, a viewing of what I can see up here. A really nice view of the uh, English Channel, I think it is. Yeah, it must be. Right, let's uh, think about this. Get my gloves back on. I need to turn around. here quickly easy peasy right how to pivot your bike right let's get back to work shall I right okay where's these cars Indicate left. All good. All right, let's get out of here. Kill the indicator. Second gear. Oh. Right, let's get going again.
Yeah, there's a lovely road that goes between Ventnor and Shanklin, but I think it's just going to give me issues with uh, a road closure that's going on down there. So better safe than sorry. And I've got to pick my lad up from school, so I can't be late. Let's get out this big hill. Yeah, come on, baby. So what do you think of Ventnor? It's nice around the town and down the seafront. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's had a lot of regeneration lately. So now it's quite a posh part of the Isle of Wight, I suppose. It's nice, I like it. Well, I'm going to preempt having a bit of difficulty getting up here in that gear. So let's go into third gear. It's the old railway station just on that industrial estate. Once upon a time. Oh, pile on fence. It's very, very hilly this town. Plenty of room for everyone, mate. Uh, let's try third gear around this bend it's quite tight and uh, I keep a bit to the left in case there's a bus sweeping around oh I was a bit of a funny angle on that uh, manhole cover but it was dry which is good this is the wonky bit around check that out oh. I think it might be the highest point of the island up there on the downs I'll take you up there one day. I've bought a little uh, Mavic DJI, DJI drone, so uh, hopefully get some nice hearty shots at some stage when I figured out how to use it. Wait there. Wait. Thank you. Oh, reversing onto a highway. Naughty. Okay, you staying there? What are you doing? Lovely. Okay, right, let's get out of here. Right, national speed limit. Let's act like it. Right, got those roadworks around here, so is there any cars queuing around this bend? Nope. Is there any queuing around this bend? Okay, coming into a 30 zone, so let's change gear. What a lovely bit of scenery. That, I believe, is Stenbury Down. But I'm probably wrong, so uh, don't look it up on a map expecting it to look like that.
I do spend an abnormal amount of time stuck at traffic lights. Not on the bike in particular, just generally. Okay, let's get out of it. Get that big bum up this hill. <coughs> okay, can't see anything coming. Right, 40, speed up a bit. Right, we should have a mini roundabout coming up, so I'm going to be turning right. Okay, do my checks. Okay, good. Right. Come on, you go. Off you go. Kill the indicator, gun it a bit, change gear. Right, national speed limit, let's go! Right, this road I think brings us into Shanklin. I'm quite new back to the Isle of Wight. Up until recently I've been living in Devon uh, in the UK also, so uh, I've kind of forgotten a lot of the Isle of Wight. <laughs> and where the roads pop out, but uh, let's see how we get on up here. Nice, open road.
Right, legs so far, all good. And also, uh, yeah, I can still feel my hands, so all good so far. Uh, I have got some more robust sort of winter riding gear at my disposal, like some waterproof motorcycle trousers and all that kind of stuff, but I really haven't felt the need to uh, bust it out yet. I'm st still, of course, yet to do my first ride in the rain, so that'll be interesting when that time comes. Oh, a wet man out. Speed cameras here apparently, so we don't want to be a naughty boy. Let's make sure we're doing 30. Yeah, just a tad under. These wonderful houses, once upon a time, these would have been magnificent Victorian gaffs. Now, mostly probably dentists and uh, apartments. But a nice tree-lined avenue to live down. Lovely. God, that road was savagely bumpy. Nice. Thank you. My hands are starting to go a little bit numb now. Oh look, another road closure. Will it affect me? No, it's diverting me where I need to go, so that's good. And we're coming into Shanklin Town now. There's a Shanklin Town and Shanklin Old Village. Uh, we would have come through Shanklin Old Village, but I'm pretty sure there's a road closure, so I did not want to risk it today. We'll do that another day. And it's a bit warmer. And I've got a bit more time as well. Well, without tempting fate too much, I have managed not to stall it today, which is uh, definitely a bonus. Second gear action now, I'm indicating left because that's where I need to go. Same as all this lot. Safely done. Kill the indicator, bosh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, that car was going well slow, so let's speed up a little bit. I can't see if there's anything behind me at the moment, uh, purely because I'm just getting an eyeful of the sun reflecting in my mirror. Lovely. So you have to assume everyone else has got the same thing and they can't see you properly because they're being dazzled. So, uh, Ride accordingly and make yourself big. They've stayed kind for me, so let's get across here. Oh, you're going to slow me down, aren't you? 
Oh, what is coming out the back of that thing? That is disgusting. Careful not to go over 30 when you peak the hill with a throttle open a bit. place called lake here as far as i'm aware there's no lake i actually used to live in lake so yeah i'm pretty sure there's no lake the sea is just there down a big cliff obviously but it is there nonetheless i will take you on the tour in the summer or the spring of all the uh, Isle of Wight uh, hot spots and nice beaches and stuff like that. There's lots of them. Look at that for timing. Come on, Grandad, get going. Right, I need to indicate left just here because I need to go left. So that seems like the done thing. Check my mirrors and stuff. All good. Kill the indicator. Lovely. There's some savage speed bumps down here because it's a bit of a, a cut through. Um, if you want to divert a little bit of sand down and stuff, so it gets gridlocked with cars and stuff sometimes. And they put loads of speed bumps in in an effort to uh, slow people down. But it shouldn't affect me too much on two wheels. I'm going to indicate for this van here because there's a few bits going on and there's a car coming towards me. And a junction as well, so let's kill that. Better safe than sorry, right? And I've got a right hand turn coming up here, so I'll do all my checks again. Okay, another road closure. Statistically, how many road closure signs should you see in the space of, I'm gonna say we probably do about 15 miles today, let's say that. What do you reckon? Answers are in the comments below, please. I reckon that's, that's definitely more than half a dozen. Give way to oncoming cars. He's going through the little uh, cycle gap there. Let's do one speed bump. Yeah, that's not particularly fun, is it? dip through the side bit here there's a lot of two-wheel action going on down here not sure what's going on here
give way to oncoming vehicles, of which there are none, so I'm not going to be doing that. Crappy bit of road. Bit of a hill coming up here, so let's change down a gear. Don't want to get left behind. I do find that the more relaxed I get, the uh, more upright I sit. When I'm tense, I lean forward kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it's starting to sit up a bit more upright. Does that sound weird or is that normal? Yeah, sorry, the uh, videos are quite long, unfortunately, because I don't get a huge amount of time to go out on a proper ride, and I wanted my first five rides to be decent length. Uh, I have to wait until I've got time at work, and of course, when the time does arise, I don't want to be just nipping out for five minutes, so uh, I tend to go on a bit of a longer one. Oh, look, someone's come on their holiday there and just decided that's the best spot for it, which obviously it's not. Right, I'm going right here, so check my mirrors. Indicate left. Drop down again. Drop down two gears because I'm stopping. Ah, oh, that bloody road's closed. I'm not going left, I'm going right because that blooming road is closed for a change. Right, so we're going down Sandown Seafront. <laughs> Kill that indicator, get some speed on. Oh, blooming road closures. Can you tell it annoys me? Okay, I'm going straight on, but it's technically left, so I'm going to indicate here so this guy knows what I'm doing. But there's nothing coming my way, so I'm off. Kill the indicator. Bosh. Right. A little cruise down into Sandown. We're getting like a whistle stop tour of the Isle of Wight today. do that for I can smell the uh, chips already okay and left at the roundabout so give it a bit of indicator action and check all my mirrors and all that jazz that you have to do for safety Okay, anything coming in? No. Double check and get out of here. Kill the indicator. Yeah, got a nod. Is that motorcycle this number two or three? I can't remember. Doesn't really matter, does it? But he gave me a nod. Thanks, mate. He or she, should I say. They gave me a... You've got to be careful these days, haven't you? So, um, they gave me a nod. Nice. This is Sandown, and that's Culverdown up there, which I mentioned earlier. My fuel gauge has now moved. Wait there. Wait. Thank you. Lots of dinosaur fossils and that kind of thing found further along over there. Uh, 
and the boats if you're wondering they they sit there because it's on the lee of the island so it's sheltered from the wind and stuff so uh it's more relaxing for them when they're not going anywhere look at all this stuff in the road dodge it Part there, sir. I'm going to pop in here quick because I need need to get a thumbnail photograph, which is uh, really vain, really. But uh, I do need one for my video, so let's get in here. Looks nice with the uh, beach, doesn't it? Hopefully, I'll get down the end. Always feel like a wally doing stuff like this. But you've got to have a nice fun now. doing a bit of a turn in the road here yeah nice little turn in the road lovely There she be, my beast. Lovely. Right, where's this sun? I don't want to blind anyone. You can see my point there? Yeah. Yeah, there is someone walking towards me. I feel like a right Wally. Anyway, it's done. So let's get out of here. Right, let's get out of here. It's quite a good car park for doing me, uh, some of my practicing for my mod one and all that kind of stuff. Quite quiet during the day, that's good to know. So anyway, for now, let's get back to work. Indicate right, because that's where I'm going bit of first gear action and there's a car coming so I should wait I'm a bit close to the line there really in case the car swings around that corner but uh, we shall chance it for now why is there so much traffic oh it's because that blooming road is closed Good, let's get out of here. Send it, no indicator required, so let's kill that. And bosh, it's uh, oh, I think it's a 20 just here, maybe a 30. 
I didn't see the sign, so forgive me, but I'll go about this sort of speed. That car's doing definitely more than uh, this is a 30, isn't it? Another one of those uh, speed camera signs, but without a uh, sign to say how fast you're meant to be going. That would be really helpful, wouldn't it? Right, definitely 30 because it says it on the floor. Right, not too far now. muddy this road here it's still 30 Still 30. Right, I need to turn right here, back towards the airport. Benbridge Airport, actually we've got two, uh, two bigger style airports, I guess you might call it. Sandown, where I've just been quite close to actually when I was in Lake. Okay, all good, all good. I'm not gonna go over that, I'm gonna go around it, because that's what you're gonna do, and it might be slippery, so let's kill that indicator. National speed limit, let's go. Apart from this bend looks quite treacherous so I'm going to take it quite easy around there. Uh, we're good, let's go. That manhole cover is in a nasty position. Okay, come on, let's get a bit of speed on. I feel a bit chilly now. It's a nice bit of road, I think, this one. nice tight bend coming up and if you want to drive your car up that byway you'll bang out of luck because it's closed at the moment so tough you have to wait until the summer they close them over the winter We are back at Benbridge Airport. Oi! No need for that.
dude uh, is obviously a bit more confident than I am around these corners. Um, rightly so, he uh, looks to have his full licence because he did not have learner plates on, so I'm just going to uh, imagine he's been riding for 20 years or something like that. Some water main has burst there for sure. <laughs> I can see the uh, tyre track from the motorcycle here, so I can see that he's riding on this centre piece of the road as well. I'm turning left here, so let's do more checks. Bloody closed as well. Another one. Unbelievable. <sighs> Absolute joke. The thing is, they'll say, oh, you know, we're digging up the road and making it nice. They do a really bad job of it as well. <laughs> Okay, so we're coming back into Benbridge now. Yeah, today's ride didn't really go to plan because I couldn't do the route I wanted to. Uh, do it another time, won't we? See, I just changed down into third gate around that corner. I didn't even think about it. It just happened, so I am making progress. I am conscious that I need to go a little bit quicker sometimes, actually. So uh, definitely going to, uh, when I finish my first five videos, which will be today, actually, uh, I'll concentrate on just getting out without the camera rolling um, and just, uh, you know, really scrutinise my speed and all that kind of stuff, because sometimes I'm just not going quick enough. Um, I don't want to break the speed limit, of course, but obviously you just want to make sure you're um, going fast enough and not slowing people down because that is my pet hate being slowed down by other people driving geriatrics generally over here right, oh, we've got to get up on there. I'm not going to indicate left here because it's a one way I've got no option but to go left I'll just make sure there's no one coming here there's not, so I'm good to go. That's the same road, so I can't class that as another road closure. Okay, we're coming down the hill into uh, St. Helens again, which is where my workshop is. So you haven't got to sit through much more. <laughs> if you've got this far, fair play. Um, and do check that button and check that you've done a subscribe, because if you haven't, um, well, I don't know what to say to you really. But if you could do, that'd be fantastic. Thank you very much. It's free and it helps me out. Thank you, Sean.
Royal Enfield dealer just there. Don't know much about their bikes actually, I'll have to look them up. These houseboats are very expensive. Some nice ones and some not so nice ones. <laughs> The old girl poodles along nicely. She has I've done 12,000 miles, so it's not a baby. And uh, I suppose, what is it, 68 red, 69, I can't remember. Uh, so yeah, it's a few years old now, but so far, so good. Fantastic little bike. Very impressed with my Honda CB125F. Not an advert. <laughs> His bonnet was crunched, so something had uh, hit him or he'd hit something previously. So I was right to be wary. Right, I'm turning right here, so let's indicate right and check, do my checks. All good in the hood. Second gear action there. There's nothing coming, check again. Lovely. I'm going to stop it because. They could be whizzing from any angle. All good. And kill the indicator. Bit of speed. Right, uh, last time I headed up this hill, someone had blocked my driveway and it really confused me. <laughs> so hopefully no one's blocked my drive today. So uh, I better roll straight in once I get my big bum up this hill. Good. Okay, we're looking good. Ride number five, done. Kill that indicator for the last time. Well, that is bike ride number five uh, finished, basically. Since I did my CBT, I've managed five bike rides so far. They've all been quite long, <laughs> um, but that is it. So uh, that really concludes this little series of uh, videos of my first uh, sort of solo missions and all that kind of thing. Because, of course, now I've got a bit of experience. I'm not a total beginner. Um, so on that basis, I won't carry on doing these uh, every bike ride um, because it's going to be a little bit boring going forward, I guess. Um, the real reason I got my bike was because I wanted to ride to the post office um, and just save money on fuel and all that kind of stuff. So it was uh, easier and quicker for me to get a motorbike and do it that way. Um, so no one wants to watch me just nipping down the post office. Um, and if the truth be known, having to make making these videos, which I've been doing the last few times, um, it takes a lot of effort getting all the cameras, all the cameras ready, all the batteries charged and all this sort of stuff. There's a lot of planning that goes into it, believe it or not, um, rather than just grab your stuff get your keys get your helmet on and get out it's not like that you've got to keep getting your your all your cameras and all that sort of stuff together and making sure everything's all ready to go um so i shall enjoy a few bike rides uh just getting some uh, practice in and uh you know around the local area and go and visit a few places and also my little post office rides now will be quicker because i haven't got to mess about with a camera so i'll go and do a few of those kind of things but thank you very much for watching this little series there will be more videos so don't stop watching and uh, if you haven't already make sure you hit subscribe and like and do a comment and all that stuff because that helps the algorithm and it helps other people to see my videos so i appreciate that um so yeah i've got lots more videos planned 
Uh, so do stay tuned for that kind of thing. Um, I've got a, a, a white board at work with loads of video ideas of things I want to do. So um, uh, I mentioned earlier I've got a drone as well. So I'm going to have some like artistic shots and uh, places that I visit on the Isle of Wight on my motorcycle. I um, hope you found this helpful. Uh, I'd really appreciate the amount of people that have been watching my videos. So, uh, you know, thank you. Um, and uh, that probably looked like I was cross-eyed because I don't know why I'm looking at the screen and the lens is there. So it always looks like I'm looking at something else. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm babbling on now. You'll notice I'm in my car at the moment. As I mentioned earlier, I need to pick my lad up from school. So I'm just waiting for them to turn out. Um, thank you for watching. I will see you for more videos very soon uh, on my Honda CB125F and associated stuff like that. So I'll catch you later. Bye.